Welcome back to another week of Outside the Lines. If you're here on purpose, thanks for joining. If you're here by accident, stay tuned. You might find something of entertainment value. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching. My name is John. I'm a sailor, an engineer, and a dad currently in North Texas. I've been sailing for about 10 years. This, well, this is my navigator, Kara. She's quite amazing. Last but not least, you're going to meet my first mate. She is the apple of my eye. Welcome aboard, come and join us. So long ago, I was gifted a CNC 24 that needed lots of luck. So come along for the ride as we do some engineering, some carpentry and woodwork, and do some fiberglass as well. And uh, we do some racing in between. We have a lot of fun out there. We're glad you would join us. And uh, ultimately, we just, uh, we'd love to see you out there with us. So we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Morning, folks. It is way too early, oh, and it's a sprightly, uh, warm 19 degrees in uh, Keller, Texas. Okay, we have a lot to do today. Uh, let's get started. Okay, well, I've got three boxes of parts. Uh, doesn't everybody travel with sailboat parts in their car? I don't know, anyway, maybe it's a thing. So, two pad eyes here uh, with backing plates. Uh, notice where you can look at these and see which one is which uh, for a heavier load. Uh, if you notice, this one over here has a quite, quite a strong uh, bonding weld around it. Uh, and this one does not. Uh, they're both 640 stainless. Um, and they're both, um, well, approved for boat use. But for this, this purpose, uh, going on a boom vane, uh, it's going to need to support quite a bit of purchase on that boom. And the reason it failed the first time is because it, uh, well, probably metal fatigue and age. Uh, these are brand new. And so we'll take a look and see what it takes to get them um, installed in the boom. And uh, may not happen today. It looks like a lot of work, but we'll see. And it is rigid cold out here.
Welcome back to another week outside the lines. So, it doesn't matter what kind of boat it is. It doesn't matter what kind of boat it is. Uh, when you're on the water, stuff breaks. That's a guarantee. Boat, bring out another thousand, right? So today, we are here on SV Alliance to look, possibly repair, a broken boom bank right here. That guy. So, without a boom vang, this boom has no tension to stop it from swinging in the direction it's supposed to be in, for the most part. Um, we need to fix that. Right now, I told you last week, Nick broke the boom bang, uh, boom bang and... Uh, And uh, we reattached it up here, if you can see. Yeah. But that's not optimal. So, I spoke with Nick this morning and I said, uh, give me a chance, let me, let me take a look at it. And uh, he agreed, so here we are. And uh, you get a front row seat to what hopefully will be a repair.
ahead and called Nick and let him know that the boom cap was seized due to probably years of dirt and wear and pressure. So I let him know that I would be taking the boom off of the mast and uh, removing it to take it back to the shop to do some work on it there. That way I could get some purchase on the, on the boom cap and remove it and make sure that there were no uh, sharp objects on the inside from the previous installation and take a good look at the lines on the inside of the boom to make sure they weren't damaged. This story is about a day later um, I was not feeling so hot and uh, declined downhill from there um, turns out uh, that's whenever I went to go get tested and was tested positive for COVID so uh, there's not much filming on the engineering of what I did I do have some stills I'll show right up here as I go through the commentary but Effectively, what happened is I ended up having to build uh, a custom piece, the pad eye backing that I had. Even the uh, the superstructure did not uh, work out because of the uh, the uh, rivet alignment that the uh, rivets go into and to both pieces. So uh, I used a custom uh, piece of uh, well, a custom pad eye, and then um, I welded some bolts inverted to it. I'll show some pictures here. And uh, I followed up with Nick uh, about a week later and asked him how it was going. 
as you can tell, uh, the uh, shakedown sale went very well. He uh, has his balloon out. He was very pleased with the end product, and uh, I think we can all say it was a success. Hey, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and um, hope to see you out there. Take care. Bye. <laughs>